Well, hello. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. It's really quite moving. Not, stinking lawyer. I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. N no, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there's nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. So, what is it you wish to ask of me then? Hmm? Starbs, how did you get to be so totally whacked? Well, back to the grindstone? I don't. I don't know what the thing is, but welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, we thwarted Edgewood's plans in trying to get a swift verdict. And in this episode, we're going through some further investigation because another material person, I guess you could say, uh, was added to the to the investigation. So we have to talk. We have to uh, talk with Miss May to figure out who that was. That man. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Hmm. Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Uh, a wiretap? Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Aw, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold. So criminal. Um, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, hmm? Creep. This woman is impossible to talk to. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it! Bottom-feeding, scum-sucking lawyer! Bottom? I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers, or just against me? Oh, now her face is permanently like that. Do I have something to get her to talk? Floor plans. Her testimony. Hey, can I examine that? Dodge attack in the range of the right, but she was caught and struck. That's all that's available. Um. I don't think I have anything to really present her testimony. Okay, can you gain? Thank you. Hey, guess what? Actually, I, um, really hate your guts. So get lost, because, well, I'm not cooperating. Thanks, I noticed. Well, I don't have anything to give to her, so I guess we should just move. Uh, really, all we can do is just... Wait, where's that painting? You guys notice that? Where's the... The painting's gone. Huh. Looks like Grossbird is out today. Again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Um... Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah. Yeah, it was a painting of... A fisherman, right? Wasn't it... It wasn't a very memorable painting, anyhow. Let me try again. Maybe it wasn't a fisherman. I'm pretty sure it was a fisherman. Sunflowers? Uh... Marvin Grosper? <laughs> no. No, it was... I'm pretty sure it was a fisherman. Uh, what if, is there anything else to examine? Mahogany. Not only is this made of mahogany, but it was forged in the fires of... Uh, Bank Company Law Offices, what's here? Looks like forensics is taking the day off. Detective Gumshoe's nowhere in sight. The police really gave this place a working over. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. Suppose it can't hurt to take a look around, though. Um... I... yeah, I don't think there's much of anything here. Aww. Poor Phoenix. I feel bad for him, too. You gotta water it for her. 
movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out one of these days. Can I examine the window? Like, is there anything out the window? Huh, maybe we should go to the hotel. Since he pointed it out. Also, uh, if you guys haven't caught it yet, the Gatewater Hotel is a play on Watergate Hotel, which was involved with President Nixon and the scandal thing there. Yeah, that's that's the idea, I believe. Ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. I'm sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewater's rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It would be great for business, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The better boy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Oh, I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream. So, you are our honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. <laughs> I need to talk to you. Miss May. About Miss May. Oh, her? Yeah, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I said. Do what? I'm sorry, I think the most suspicious person here is this guy. The man with May. I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I have the same ilk. We both carry the scent of danger. Here we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. You had a photo of that man. I'm quite sure I could identify him. Photo? Hmm. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely! And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. Subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. What's your tea set? Alright. Well, I don't think I have a photo of him. I doubt I did. No, I don't have a photo of him. So... Let's try going somewhere else. Maybe Grossberg is back? No. No. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I see a photo. What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. This thing has been written in pencil on the backs. DL6 Incident Exhibit A. DL6 Incident Exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this full photo. I'm sure no one will miss just one little photo. And it might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. Photographs quietly added to the court record. <laughs> well, I don't think I want that. I want a picture of a guy. A photo lies on the desk. Maybe I should switch it with the one I took. Yes. I think I'll swap them. Alright. Well, we got a picture of a man, so maybe that's the guy that the bellboy was looking for. Hello, bellboy. Well, take a look at this photo. And that's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I knew that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No, no I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an infinitive swearing that that's him? This guy's way too excited about this. Uh, yeah, have him write it. Why not? Well, sure, why not? Yes. I've always wanted to write an infinitive, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the better boy who swore the infinitive. Just hurry up and write it. <laughs> Alright. Not even Miss Make can play dumb to this. That's true. So back to the detention center. You again? Can't you take a hint and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now. 
You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. That does it. In this case, it's done. I'm shaving my head. <laughs> no, you won't. I've seen the cover of the second game. Alright. Well. Could you have a look at this? What's that? The bellboy's a fitative. He told us everything he saw. He told us about the man you checked in with. He told us who he was. Now I'm getting somewhere. Hmm. I'm not gonna be nice to her. This is it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb. Indeed, that it, that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this photo to the press. What?! Even though he should be a witness to murder, this man is in hiding. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. Ooh, fine, I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Yes. Man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. Why are you pumping your fist in the air? <coughs> now, tell me about the man you were with. That man, he's my boss. Red, white. Oh god, like... Ugh. The president of the information gathering conglomerate blue... Damn it, game! You know, I was just... Never mind. Red, white? Information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call them a detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man that was with you the night of the murder. I'm... I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. It's okay, I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Mr. Red White at last. Finally, a lead on this guy. If April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Discarded the bellboy's affinitive. Well, how about I... Since I, it doesn't seem like I'll need that photo anymore. This is just me going on a hunch. BAM! Ah, oh, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Ah, you again. Um, hello, Mr. Grossberg. Well, well. You want a wide cuisine, my boy. My boy. Excuse me? The trial, the trial! He was there? Reminded me of myself when I was a youth. Something got passed down through Mia. Maybe? It brings back memories, it does. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. I apologize. I, it was all a bit too much for me, my boy. Seeing you today, I will I. I appreciate the reminiscing, but I'd much rather you gave me some information. Uh... So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes, I did. Something was bothering me all, at, uh, all last night, you see. I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just me as sister. That poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. If you were that worried about it, why didn't you offer to defend her? I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. A right, Mr. Wright? No, no, I'm sorry. It's just, I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. Maybe I can find something that will inspire him to talk. The other day, I'm sure there was a big, pretentious-looking painting on that wall. Pretentious looking? Well, you know the one I mean. Anyway, where did it go? Ah, yes, well... I got rid of it. Got quite tired of the thing, really. I sold it, you see. Yes, that's right. Sold it? I'm not sure I'd buy that. Was that painting rather important to you, sir? Something happened? I don't see how it's any of your business. Please speak no more of that accursed painting. I didn't... I... Or... Okay, something's... Something's going on. Can I, can I show him the painting of this guy? Maybe they... Okay. There you go. Excuse me, I was wondering about this photograph. 
Where did you get that? Give it back at once. Sort of taking it without your knowledge. But I have to know. Who is this man? He was most likely in April May's room the night of the murder. Who's that, you say? Are you quite sure, my boy? Why does I'm so flustered, I wonder? I, I beg your pardon, but I must ask you to leave. I need to be alone. He's fallen silent as a stone. A rather large stone. I guess I should return that photo. Um... Can I... Okay, some... Something weird's going on. <clears throat> uh, can I get the other photo? Oh no, it's gone. It's gone. Well. I wanted to get the other photo, that's, that's why I came here. But I guess if he's not going to talk about anything, and I don't have any evidence that will really... I, I don't really have anything. Alright. So I guess we should just move to Blue Corp. Alright, here we go.